Hey guys, Media Brothers Chris Tomer here on this Saturday morning. Let's talk some mountain weather for the weekend and beyond. My bullet points, we've got an active pattern setting up for the West from about 319 through roughly 327 with two or three different storm systems actually that'll ride a powerful jet in. But some of the key dates for California, afternoon 319 through 322, Wasatch 319 through 325, and uh, the Northeast. If we look at the Northeast, you've got a little bit of snow coming up there, uh, 323 through 325. I've got some other zones outlined here in this update as well. But first off, let me show you the water vapor. You can see it. We've got a powerful trough of low pressure right here, riding its way in with various areas of little low pressure behind it, just kind of circling like cogs on a wheel. Um, and and this, is a, this is a powerful flow. I mean, look at it. It's just absolutely blowing into California and the Pacific Northwest. And what's going to happen is all this will overrun and end up in uh, the Utah area, Wyoming, Colorado. Those are my bullseyes, interior bullseyes, Colorado, northern New Mexico for this one. Obviously, the Sierra will get some, but so will these other locations. I wrote about it this morning on my blog, ChrisTomer.com. Key snow dates through 327. I outlined them here. Sierra, we talked about this. 319, late to afternoon, 319 through 322 with a couple of feet of grand total accumulation. Wasatch, late 319 through 325 with two to three feet of grand total accumulation. The Tetons, uh, 320 through 325 with two feet of grand total accumulation. San Juan, Mountains of Colorado, 320 through 323 with two to three feet of grand total accumulation. New Mexico, one to two feet coming 320 through 322. So it's going to be a great pattern. We'll have lower snow levels than what we'd seen in the preceding storms. So colder air, lower density snow, it should be nice. Forecast Tahoe rain and snow line right here. You can see that uh, it starts out high at 7,900 on 319, but then it drops um, 6,700 and then eventually 5,600 by 322 and 5,700 by 323. So that is absolutely lower than what we were dealing with when we had the Pineapple Express. Um, I looked at the forecast pattern. There's your jet. I'll actually take this full. This is 325. You can see the big trough, the big dip in the jet traversing the Intermountain West at that point. So that's probably the tail end of the uh, active pattern for the Intermountain West, but maybe just the beginning for the Pacific Northwest, BC Northern Tier. Um, let's go back and look at uh, forecast timing of all this. Forecast radar satellite. So there is Sunday morning. You can see here comes uh, the big start of everything. California moves into the interior. Heavy snow interior. There's 321. Next area of low pressure hits California, moves into the interior. Heavy snow into the interior. Um, and then another storm. And you can see how it begins to shift to the Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier. The whole pattern begins to shift north. And that's what I was alluding to. As we get towards the tail end, 324, 325 and beyond, the pattern will largely favor the Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier. All right, forecast totals. Let me take these uh, full. All right, so period one, all of today through the 20th, 6 to 12 for the Sierra, um, about 8 for the Wasatch looking good in southwest Colorado, northern New Mexico, just starting to get things juiced up there with 4 to 10. All right, period two is big, 321 through 327, another couple of feet for the Sierra, couple of feet for the Wasatch, couple of feet for the uh, Tetons, those are the bullseyes, and look at Oregon, looking good, and Washington State, and Idaho starting to see some accumulation there with a foot through Sun Valley and Brundage, of course, that's, you're just starting to feel that flow, it would have been pretty rich through the Tetons and Grand Targhee. Jackson Hole. In Colorado, about a foot along I-70 north with one to two feet western slope in southwest Colorado and about a foot there, six to 12 roughly for northern New Mexico. So we've got some really deep bullseyes coming up here. And into the northeast, like I said at the top of this, um, the prime time would be 320, 324 and 325 for getting roughly four to 12 inches of snow through most of uh, Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, update on this Saturday morning. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. start to the weekend. Take care. We'll talk later.